check it out. We've got here a gyroscope wheel, ready to demonstrate the concepts of rotation, angular momentum, and precession. Of course, the first thing you're going to want to do is demonstrate that once it gets spinning, it keeps spinning. That's angular momentum, and you can really feel it with the gyroscope wheel. But if you stand on a rotating platform, Now, the thing about gyroscope wheels is they process, but the rate of rotation affects the rate of precession. You can easily see this with the black stripe. Next, we note that where you attach the hook, the length of the lever arm, has a significant effect on the precession. It's almost not processing at all because there's very little torque from the small radius. It really is the torque that causes the precession. This rather confusing dynamic behavior can be predicted with a few simple rules. Let's follow an individual part of the wheel in order to make sense of this direction during precession. Let's imagine point P moves from side A to side B during the rotation. As it moves, it is subject to the tipping torque from the weight of the wheel itself and the leverage of the handle. This begins to accelerate point P as it moves from A, then to the top, and then to B. Thus, when P reaches B, it is ready to move in the Y direction, which is exactly what it does. We have successfully predicted the direction of precession. All right, now I wanna talk about some of the benefits of this particular gyroscope. First, you can start it and stop it with ease. You're not worrying about cutting your fingers on any spokes, because it has no spokes. You don't have to worry about your hair getting sucked in or anything like that, and it's light enough that pretty much anybody can handle it. Also, these weights on the back are flush and fit snugly in during rotation. They don't stick out. Also, the black stripe here allows you to measure the rate of rotation in case you want to do a quantitative experiment on precession. Lastly, the fact that it's not a bicycle wheel can be of great benefit because there are a lot of application of gyroscopes that have nothing to do with the bicycle. They're used in spacecraft, aircraft, the Hubble Space Telescope, the James Webb Telescope, guided missiles, but there's also the Earth itself which of course is a very large gyroscope undergoing rotation. You see, the Earth is processing, but very slowly, as explained by Isaac Newton in the 1600s. The equatorial bulge allows for a slight gravitational torque from the sun. This pulls the Earth into a very slow, wobbly procession. It has a period of about 26,000 years. The point is, this object is much safer than a conventional gyroscope and provides much ease of use. It's better for kids and it has nothing to do with bicycles. If this is your first time here and you're looking for new ideas and demos for your classroom, then start now by subscribing and clicking the notification bell to get notified every time Arbor Scientific releases a new video.